Hello, people of YouTube. My name is Steve Gray, and thank you for watching. If you're new here, please hit that subscribe button, turn on that notification bell, leave a like, and feel free to comment down below what you would like me to do for future videos. Uh, Rick and Morty is going to be ending soon, and Dr. Stone are both going to be ending fairly soon. Uh, so I'm just going to have My Hero Academia for a while, um, unless you guys comment a series that you want me to review, or I'm going to have to go find something that's fairly recent that I can review for all of your viewing pleasure. Currently at 149 subscribers, so thank you for that. Today we are going to be talking about Season 4, Episode 6 of My Hero Academia, and it's kind of boring, and it's like kind of another meh episode, nothing's really going on, uh, nothing super important is going on. Uh, Sir, Sir Night Eye gets a little bit more character development, all these heroes get together for a meeting, um, Eraserhead is trying to suspend the work studies uh, because he does not want his students getting hurt, uh, but he knows, knowing Midoriya and all of his students, he knows they're going to break the rules anyway. In reality, there's nothing he can do, um, and that Midoriya actually has not earned his trust yet because Midoriya is constantly breaking all of the rules, which is super annoying. So the general plan is that what basically Eraserhead said to Night Eye was, hey, why don't you just, you know, touch all of our faces, use your future vision, figure out what's happening. Um, and it'll pr kind of long story short, it's a combination of people doing different things. And the farther he goes is different predicts different futures um he can only use his ability like once every 24 hours so there's like 30 people it's gonna it would literally take him a month to figure out where these people are um so he basically wants to save using his quirk until they've kind of narrowed it down and have a more general idea of where uh, the Shihagashi and possibly the League of Villains teaming up are. Uh, we do know there is some sort of team up. We haven't really seen anything yet. Um, also throughout the entire episode, um, Miro and Deku, Midoriya, whatever you want to call them, um, basically they have a huge weight on their shoulders because we find out that basically uh, Eerie is Overhaul's daughter, um, and that he is using her DNA in order to produce the uh, quirk-stopping bullets. Now, we don't know if they are trying to develop a permanent effect where it completely takes away the quirk, quirk but we do know um, that from what happened to Sun Eater there getting shot, that he lost his quirk for a certain period of time. He slept it off. It was probably like a 24-hour thing, but he's good to go. But it does alter your DNA to the point where you no longer have that quirk. So it's not 100% yet, but it is a possibility that, it's, that, um, that someone might be losing their quirk in this season. We honestly do not know yet. Um, I like Fat Gum's attitude. Um, him and, Kirish and Kirishima have a very kind of similar approach where they're both very headstrong, just want to go into it immediately, take it on. But obviously these things take a lot of planning, uh, which is why Sir Nai, who is a very strong mentalist, um, is planning this out and why they have all of these heroes from all these different organizations. Um, basically, we get Lemillion and Deku uh, both saying that, yes, we are going to save Eerie no matter what it takes, uh, which kind of goes back into the uh, eraser head um, not trusting Deku, because yes, they're trying to suspend the work studies, but 9 out of 10, they're going to want those students to help with it. The problem is, obviously, that the League of Villains is possibly associated with this. We do know that they know now that... Um, that the League of Villains and the Shihagashi have met um, and possibly are working together, had some sort of altercation. They don't really know the information. All we know is there's a bunch of different spots, and they are going to go try to find Eerie. Um, <clears throat> I don't know if this particular arc is going to take the entire season up. Um, just by the way, they seem like they're throwing in filler episodes. As I said, the first episode was basically just a recap filler episode, episode six. So that's already two out of 24 episodes here. We're basically down to 22 episodes of stuff possibly happening at this point in time. 
Uh, we got plenty of season left, so no worry there. Um, but I'm not sure if it's going to be one of these things where this whole thing is going to get wrapped up in 10 episodes or because there's so many different locations, it's going to be showing uh, My Hero Academia's huge variety of different characters, uh, all the characters from 1A uh, going to these different locations, tr each individual group, each individual uh, superhero, um, trying to figure out exactly where um, Eerie is hiding because obviously their main priority right now is to get her safe, um, get her away from them because then they will no longer be able to produce this drug because uh, most likely they are hooking up to her to like a blood donation type machine and just draining her blood all the time. Um, either that or they're going to try to figure out how to uh, reproduce her blood, which would also be bad. <laughs> not sure if you're familiar with the Incredible Hulk or not, uh, but there are ways to kind of replicate somebody's blood and i'm sure they might include that in here as well at some point in time we will just have to wait and see uh there's some new caretaker for eerie we get a little bit of eerie at the end of the episode um she's terrified of like everybody um the she was like deku's touch was different it was warm it was caring it was kindness and this is probably the first time or the first time in a very long time that she's actually felt this uh kindness from another human being's touch which is kind of sad and heartbreaking i'll be honest i was like oh no eerie you poor child you poor poor child but that's all right we all know she's going to get saved as per shonen jump anime and that everything will work out in the end my name is Steve Gray. Thank you for watching, and as always, have a good one.